Hey YouTube, it's Mitch, and I have a mind reading math trick to show you. Uh, the trick starts off like this Ask somebody to come up with a three digit number, and uh, all the digits have to be different. So let's say the person says uh, 954. What you're then going to tell them to do is take the digits of their number and rearrange them. So let's say the person says 4. 59. Whatever number that they rearrange the new numbers to be, make sure they put it at the bottom because we're going to have to subtract. So we're going to subtract the jumbled up numbers from the original number. So here we go. Uh, we'll have to borrow. 14 minus 9 is 5. We're going to have to borrow again. 14 minus 5 is 9 and 8 minus 4 is 4. So their new number now is 495. And here's now where the mind reading part comes in. Ask them to circle one of their three digits that they have with their new number. So let's say they decide to circle the 5. What you're going to do is ask them to add up digits that they didn't circle. So this person would add 4 plus 9 and get 13. What you as the magician are going to do is you're going to think in multiples of 9. So 9 times 1 is 9, 9 times 2 is 18. What you're now going to do is once they tell you that their number is 13, you're going to subtract that from 18 and you're going to get 5 and that's how you know what number they circled. And if you do this trick right, it should work every time. All right, good luck to you. Okay, you might be wondering, well, what happens if the sum of their numbers is less than nine? Well, here's how that would work. Let's say the person changed their numbers to 594. And we subtract, we get 0, we'll borrow, and we get 360. So again, it's their time to circle a number. Let's say they circle the 6. Okay, you're still going to ask them, what is the sum of the digits you have left? So they have a 3 and the 0. They're going to tell you 3. So now you're again, you're going to now go to the multiple of 9. We're still on the multiple of 9, but we're not, we're not going to use 18 this time. We're going to use 9. And 9 minus 3 is 6. And you're going to tell them that the number they circled was 6. So again, good luck. Have fun.